Hi, I'm Xinyu, and I'm so excited to introduce our latest work. The depth estimation network takes a single RGB image as input and outputs its pixel-aligned depth map. First, let's take a look at what is the edge fattening issue. Figure A shows the behavior of the edge fattening problem. Figure B is a schematic to demonstrate the three pixels cases. Figure C shows the photometric error with respect to disparity. P and Q are OK. Their GT disparity is the global minimum of PE. Q suffers from the edge fattening issue. Since Q is occluded by the tree in the right view, the PE of its GT disparity, 5, is large. The loss function therefore struggles to find another location that has a small loss. Shifting another 5 pixel to reach the nearest background pixel Q prime. However, Q prime is not the true correspondence of Q. As a result, disparity of the background Q equals to that of the foreground R, leading to the edge fattening issue. Here, I would like to present the results first, as this also shows how critical this problem is. Almost all the state of the arts augmented with our method, can achieve better scores. We settled this problem through patch-based triplet loss. The triplet loss pushes the negatives away and pull the positives close until there is a margin in the Euclidean distance difference between the positives and the negatives. However, Naively encouraging the average D negative to increase leads to poor results. Here we give an example. The pixel lie in the gap between the two boundaries are the fatter ones. In B, only if the green plan lies above the gray can this triplet participate in optimization. Thus here, no optimization happens. This is because of the average operator. The low proportion poor negatives contributions are weakened by the large proportion good negatives. Therefore, we only pick the worst negative to optimize. Then, we would like to show the second drawback of the original triplet loss. Sometimes, the error of the poor positives could be sheltered by good negatives. Let's take a look at the shown case. In figure B, the depth estimation of the car window is wrong. It has to be the same as the car body, but in fact it doesn't. The negatives are so good enough that the green plane lies beneath the gray. So again, no optimization happens. Therefore, we easily split D positives and D negatives, and compare D negatives with a new margin M prime, which gives more direct optimization to the positives. Experiments not only demonstrate that we are state-of-the-art, but also highly generalizable. Note that we do not introduce any extra computation at all. Finally, we review a new problem for our whole depth estimation community. The depth of the crossbar is not correctly estimated, which may be a fatal failure case for autonomous driving. Thanks for listening. Code paper and pre-trained models are available on GitHub.